Hello geometers and seekers of general truths. We continue our study of lines cut by a transversal with uh, the alternate exterior angle theorem. So it's very similar to the previous theorem, but it's called the exterior angles theorem this time. And so let's identify the alternate exterior angles here. So if I have angle two, then angle eight is the one that is alternate exterior angle. Angle two and angle eight are alternate exterior angle. Uh, we can also say that angle one and angle seven are alternate exterior angles. So those are the only two, two pairs uh, that we have in this picture. And let's see what this theorem says. When two lines are cut by a transversal, the alternate exterior angles are congruent if and only if the two lines are parallel. So this is like saying, Angle one is congruent to angle seven, and angle two is congruent to angle eight, if and only if lines F and G are parallel to each other. Okay. Now when we go to do this proof, we don't have to show both of these pairs are congruent. We only need to show one of them because the proof is pretty repetitive. And again, I, I like to go with flow proofs. So I'm going to focus on angles 2 and 8, all right? Uh, we, we, don't have to, we don't have to prove both of these. We only have to prove one of them. So I'm going to go with angles 2 and 8. So I know that angle 2 being congruent to angle 8 is going to be the final step of the proof. And the starting point of the proof is going to be me saying that, ang that lines F and G are parallel to each other. So that's going to be my given. Now, then I'm going to follow a similar strategy to the last example. We're going to start looking at this picture and just listing out things that we know to be true. Uh, I'm going to delete these highlights here so that they don't distract anybody as the, you see this as you walk through this. We're focusing on angles 2 and 8. Okay? So if you look at this picture, we can see clearly that angle 8 and angle 6 are congruent to each other because they are vertical angles. So angle 8 and angle 6 are congruent to each other. So we'll put that down right here. Angle 6 and angle 8 are congruent because they are vertical angles. Okay. And that's a great step. Um, in doing this proof because we have some statement here that uses angle 8. And then for all of these proofs, and I, I want to emphasize this, for all of these proofs with parallel lines cut by a transversal, you're going to have to use the corresponding angles postulate somehow. And so that kind of gives it away almost that you're going to have to look at the other angle, angle 2, right, and ask what is corresponding to angle 2, right, in order for me to complete this proof here. I, I want to come, I want to end the proof with a statement that involves angle 2. I have to use the corresponding angle as postulate. So what angle is corresponding to angle 2? Well, that's angle 6, right? Angle 2 and 6 are corresponding to each other. So we can say that they are congruent to each other. And the reason is the same as in the previous problem, corresponding angles postulate. And now you can see that the proof is complete. All I have to do is join these two blue boxes together here. Angle 2 and 6 are the same. Angle 8 and 6 are the same, right? Therefore, angle 2 and 8 have to be the same as well. So it's kind of like I'm crossing off angle 6 here and just saying angle 2 and 8 must be the same. And this is due to the transitive property. Okay. It is the transitive property that allows us to say this. And there you have it. This completes the, the proof of the alternate exterior angles theorem. As always, continue to struggle with these problems. That's just a natural part of the learning process. Ask for help whenever you get stuck. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.